Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's episode, we are continuing ahead with the acceptance testing and talking about beta testing which is another level of UAT. Now in previous tutorial we understood about accept alpha testing. Now today we'll be talking about how it is different from that when it comes to beta testing. The major differences or characteristics of beta testing include that beta testing is conducted only after alpha testing passes. Alpha testing may make sure that the customer has accepted the product, but beta testing will be conducted by the real users. That means a group of end users who will be real users will be working on the product and trying to evaluate that whether it meets the expectations or not. Now, of course, the customer is the one who knows the requirement and end user is just supposed to make use of it. Then why should we conduct beta testing? Of course, when the product is made for a group of people or a certain audience, then I need to make sure that the audience are happy with it. Sometimes audience also help you to find potential defects when it comes to a certain product analysis. And these products analysis can help you to find critical defects and help you to resolve them before you can actually release. So beta testing is a pre-release event between three months to six months of time before you can actually release the product. During this duration, the product is given to the end users or group of people on it to work on it as end users and collect the necessary feedbacks. Now that positive feedback, uh, the feedback can be positive or can also be negative as well. The negative feedbacks are collected to see that if we can do something before the release, if not, we will try to come back with the updates or patches in order to fix that. Or you can also solve it as hot fixes, which can be you know, definitely all about meeting the expectations of the end user on the go. Now, beta testing is obviously conducted at the end user premises. That means a real time environment where finally the product will be actually installed. There are a lot of things which beta testing can actually help you with. A very best example to understand this is Windows 8 was failure just because of beta testing. That means not beta testing helped it to fail. Beta testing told Microsoft that there are a lot of compatibility issues and a lot of enterprise products are unable to install or work on the Windows 8. That's where it was auto automatically declared or well-defined earlier itself before the release that's going to be a failure because that was a big defect and could take a lot of time to resolve it. So beta testing can be actually helpful in many ways. Just we need to make sure that we conduct it and the duration is determined based on the size of the product which you're releasing into the market. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to let me know by dropping that in the comment box. I would love to talk about those terminologies and help you understand better. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.